Opening Paradox Rifts with a booster box and display pre-release box opening. You are seeing some of the heavy hitter cards. Not just the Golden Guard Chomp, but that Parasol Lady, Reversal Energy Beach Court, and of course the Golden Go and Gimme Ghoul. So many incredible cards in Paradox Rift. But let's start with the booster box and let's start at checking out that Terra Guard Chomp for the first pack art, Roaring Moon or Salamence, an Iron Valiant, and of course, the Armored Pokemon. And something else about Paradox Rift, two things. One, it is introducing two new types of cards, Ancient and Future cards, which we will get into shortly, and something that hasn't been part of Pokemon since Platinum Rising Rivals. Welcome back, Technical Machine cards, or TM cards. All of that is in this set. Paradox Rift. So without further ado, let us get into the first pack and see what we can get. Actually, I forgot. I got something for y'all. Two Paradox Rift booster boxes going to two of y'all. Subscribe to the channel, leave a like on this video, and let me know out of these four pack arts, which one is your favorite? And I will comment on yours. You can also see previous winners that have appeared on screen. I guess I'll give these to y'all, but they shouldn't be active just yet as the official release date is November 3rd for this set, but pre-releases do begin this weekend. Guess the energy time, psychic energy. Oh yeah, it's just one. I completely forgot about that. No! Well, we all, you know, we all have those warm up packs. It's a Milotic. Professor Toro's scenario and a holographic. It is a psychic energy! Does that count? Do I still get a pat on back? I'm still giving myself a pat on back. All right, slowing down just a bit so you can see some of the more uncommons. There's a cool Mena and Plusel card that I believe is in the set, which should be where you can put them together and they fuse together like Goku and Vegeta. And then we have a Norman. Gotta love Norman. Also, as we get into the next pack, don't forget to check out my previous video. I went to a local card store and it's actually a hidden store. There's no sign on the actual store itself. Lightning energy. Uh, so it was really an actual, is, is this not in focus? There we go. It was really an actually a, a hidden store, but the owner was awesome and they had so much stuff. I don't know if they still have as much cool stuff because the video was awesome. Probably a lot of people went after it, but if not, go check out that video. I will put a link in the description below as we have our our first pull, an ancient roaring moon. So I guess this is the really, really ancient form of what is probably a mega salamance is what I would think. But there we go, roaring moon. Doesn't sound like a Pokemon name. And then of course, uh, I got these products actually from Collector's Cash. So if you'd like to go get your very own Paradox Rift products, please check out Collector's Cash. There will be a link in the description below. So thank you so much to them. There is the code for that one card, Leaf Energy. Pat's on back, that's two in a row. You better be playing at home. We got Oricorio the Dancing Bird, Swablu, how do you do? Pansier, Nick, Tulip, Dodonzo, Chantal, The Stack, Gabite, and a Zacian. Wow. A lot of these times I am surprised by going into a new set, especially like this one with Scarlet and Violet Paradox Rifts. Uh, we gotta be good here, Metal Energy. Ah, there we go. Well, there was that. Um, so yeah, some of those top cards like the Garchomp, Golden Card, there are some golden trainer cards, like I mentioned before. Palkia. <gasps> There's a Natu in the set! Natu! How do you do? I was just about to say there should have been a Zatu. How appropriate is that? And it's a reverse server. I'll take it. I'm putting that in the gray pile. If y'all don't know, Two is one of my favorite Pokemon of all time. And there was a set called Roaring Skies from way back when. Not that it's like too old, but with how fast time goes by. <laughs> Fighting energy. Pats on back. I, uh, there was tons of Natus in that set. So I quickly, quickly grew fond of saying, Natu, how do you do? 
and that's where it came from. Hey, and speaking of technical machine, there were TM, or tool cards. There's one, there's Kevin Durant, DeBlade, Tendamau, Tapu the Morning Coco EX. Never was a fan of all the Tapus, specifically in sets like Burning Shadows, but let us see if we will pull more of those. Fire and oh my gosh, somebody. That was supposed to be fire. Somebody's in fuego right now. We have gotten multiple guesses of the energies, but oh, and here is one of the ancient cards. So as opposed to the future cards, there's this type of design on the side. So it's cool to actually finally pull one. There's Mela, never was a fan of old going around and beating those different sites. Baby Boo, it's a Bunkaboo, happy Halloween. And a Brute Bonnet, ancient card. That is actually a very, very cool design. I have to say, I saw a Pokemon just now that I think you're gonna like. Leaf Energy, it's also the most powerful Pokemon in the land, a Pink Flamingo. Not to be confused with the Pink Flamingo little plastic things that you put in your front yard, specifically old people. Technical Machine, Kevin Durant, a Slitherwing, ancient, imagine seeing that thing back then. Or a Corio, or oh, a Porygon, Dragon Ball Z, and a Deoxys, welcome back, but look at that beautiful card. Neon signs in the background. Well, that's appropriate, as you're about to get hacked or something, you'll see a Porygon, is what they say, if you say it in the mirror three times in a row. Moving on, we have another code car, Fighting Energy. I, honestly, I can get no more guesses of the energy, and I'll be fine, because I've done so well. Nimble, such an annoying po Pokemon in that game. Uh, ice Cream. Oh, and there we go! There we go! We have Paul the Golden Go! Yes! How about that? One of the absolute best cards, and I wanted to pull it, and we have just done it. A Goldigo, I'm not even saying it right. A Goldigo EX. There is texture on the card. That is awesome. That is really cool. I'm very happy about pulling that specific one. Well, whether you love that Pokemon or not, I actually do. Leaf energy, so I'm actually really happy about that. But now we got to get the uh, Gimme Ghoul and uh, see what we can do. Cursed Duster, Orbital, Broccoli, Technical Machine, and we got the best trainer in the land. We got Larry, the most relatable Pokemon trainer there is. Well, I have to say, we're doing really well, and it feels like we've only just begun. We've only. I'm not gonna sing actually, and I'm just gonna stop myself from singing right now. Psychic energy. Oh, hat's on back. We're doing well today. Has this? Yeah, this is in focus. Elekid, Ice Cream, Onyx, Tink, Defiance Vest, Veluza, Wug, Croc, Gimme Ghoul. That's just the reverse. And the S. Espartha. Es Espathra. <laughs> Espathra. It's a big ostrich. And that's what I'm gonna call it now. There's actually, from what I thought I saw really quickly, a really cool special illustration of that Pokemon. Uh, leaf energy of an ostrich. That's what it's speaking in cut. It's os ostrich. Orthworm, cloth, abs, garg, lokix. Again, another one of those bug Pokemon, which not the biggest fan of. There is that. We have a leaf energy. We have Charcadet. Little trash, gimme ghoul again, Technico machine, line side, Surskid, a Skeledridge EX. Incredibly off center. Oh my goodness, look how off center that is. Well, anyway, that's going in the pile of stuff and things. Uh, we have still what seems like an insanely incredible box. Fighting energy. Uh, we still have more than half to go. Fukoko, Nacho, Honedge, Horsey, Simiseer, Crobat, Roarark, Porygon, Wug, and Eladios. Never can go wrong with a legendary Pokemon like Eladios. So, a few more packs in the first half of this Paradox Rift. Fighting energy. Paradox Rift. I have to say it that way. Oh, there's a Jirachi. There's a party now. Yay. 
Fiesta Iron Bundle. Is this our first card? I was getting so much XP, EXP off of these guys in the game. Uh, so you have it a little bit more pixelated on that side. Uh, and that's perfect, actually, as I go. Hold on. There's a Glycopod. There's a Snorlax doll. I just want to show you the difference real quick of uh, Ancient and Future. So now you are getting both of what they look like. Really, really cool. I know. Well, I like all the little gimmicks and stuff they add to the game like that, so... Uh, and speaking of the game, Leaf Energy, very excited, uh, as if you don't know. Hey, wait, hold on! Everyone, you can say it with me at home, ready? <gasps> Natu, how do you there? Natu, how do you do? Love it, that's two Natus. Boobity boo, punkaboo, Simapore, Zepstrika, Elekid, Screamtail, and a Goldigo EX. Beautiful. I do think that's a cool Pokemon, even though it doesn't really look like one. But it's cool, it passed the cool test. Um, what I was trying to say is, I actually don't really remember what I was trying to say. Leaf energy. Hey, patch on back, but I will say that, so. Parasol lady, it's a sign. I mean, we got Larry, that I, I, I I'm just gonna keep on going. Now, how did that happen? Cyclist, I don't know what we're talking about right now. Shark Cadet, Panpour, and rocks of a Pokemon name that we just never can pronounce correctly. Parasol lady. Full art, trainer. Be really nice to get that right now, as I completely forgot what I was mentioning before. Uh, what have I not said? Water energy? No, I think I've said water energy before. Zubat, Gimme Ghoul, Purloin, Mianfu, Luxurious Cape, Ambipom, Snorlax, Honedge, Tinkaton. Very nice. And a Palkia. Always nice to get a Palkia. Oh yes, I remember what I was saying, ladies and gentlemen, as we're, yes, we are recording. Uh, I have a professional competitive team, Team Rare Candy. I, did, I know I didn't do the guessing energy. And uh, they have done very well last season and this season's already started. So, and it's awesome to see as I've tried to help grow the competitive Pokemon TCG side. And it's really cool to see that it is doing very, very well and they're seeing player growth too. So if you're ever interested in playing Leaf Energy, definitely check out your local game stores. Even this weekend, we're play releases for Paradox Rift. Check it out. You can go to the Pokemon website and see where there are pre-release locations. Doom, doom. Oh, that's not a Volcarona. Doom, 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 doom. Iron Moth. Doesn't have the same as a Volcarona, so we're just going to move on. But yeah, definitely go to your local game store, do some pre-release fun. And I would myself play competitively if I had the time. Lightning energy, it just does require a lot of travel, uh, especially if you want to go to all the regionals to get those points. Professor Seda. Croc, Porygon. Oh, it's bacon! It's what's for Zeefeltal, it's what's for dinner. And a Ting Lu. I, I haven't played the DLC, so I don't really know that Pokemon. Assuming that it is. That's really cool looking, Yveltal. I don't think that's gonna be the craziest rare card as we are only just halfway done with this Paradox Rift Box fighting energy. Hats on back. Let's see what we got. Sweetie, the Phoebes, Broccoli, Medical, Iron Bundle, but this time just a regular. Latios again in a Chiyu, one of the fish. Now I also have some of these that I'll be getting into a bit later, so. We'll put some of those. Whoa, 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 yes. I think those are like right here, stacked up. Oh no, we have more, we have more. Okay, see, they're all just stacked up everywhere. But we'll get into some of those. Those are from a pre-release display box and see what's on the inside, fire energy. Oh, and fuego. We have been doing well with that. Fire. Guesses of the energy, Cyclozar, Trubbish, Dodonzo, and a Kingdra. Can't go wrong with one of those. So let's continue and see. It's always also cool to see, just like in Obsidian Flames, uh, Fighting Energy, uh, from EX Delta Species, the set from the mid to late 2000s, they actually had added uh, a cool thing from that set into Obsidian Flames, which was different type Charizard, and if I remember correctly, Tyranitar. And now they're doing it from Plasma, Plasma, Platinum Rising Rival, Psychic Energy. Last time they did technical machines from what I can remember, like this specific trainer card. So it's cool to see those type of dynamics in gameplay. Um, 
mechanics, I guess you can say. Pun intended, it's a technical machine. <laughs> You're supposed to laugh. Leaf energy, it's fine if you didn't. Let us see what we can do in the second half of this booster box. Natu, how do you do? That is now gonna be back. That is now an Iron Moth. Future card, wiggle it, and a Glycopod. Reminds me of the Burning Shadows again. Pretty sure I pulled some full art Glycopod EXs that just really left not a lot to the imagination, if I say so. Why do I keep Leaf Energy tossing to the side some car like code cards sometimes? I'm so used to, because you can't even uh, use them until, uh, I think it's like actually the day before release, is if I re read it correctly, that's the online game. Uh, Leaf Energy, and then yeah, you can see that one. Let's see what we can do. But those are for the online uh, Pokemon TCG online game. Anybody actually plays that? Nimble Chen Pao. That is a hollow. And yes, you are guaranteed hollows in every single pack, whether you like that or not. I personally am indifferent, if not a little, I don't care for it. Leaf energy, um, just because it's like, you know, it should be special when you get a really nice card. Technical machines, lots of them. Volcanian, Kingdra, and a Tessarina. Very, very, again, off-centered. But there you go, just so you can see it. Yay, so it's our first, is that really like our first big pull of the second half of the box? But that's okay because we can continue. Uh, metal energy. I also haven't said dark energy. So if you want to remind me, you can remind me to say dark energy. Steenies, Abstrika, Sweetie, a beautiful Loudred. Look at that. And Iron Jugs. Let that go to the imagination. Moving on with about six or seven packs of just the Paradox Rift booster box itself. Fighting energy. There's dark energy. Y'all were supposed to remind me to say, Parasol Lady, how you doing? To say, Kevin Durant, to say dark energy, Plasol, Gligar, and a Steelix. I know some Steelix fans that are out there or master set collectors of specific Pokemon like Steelix, so it's always good to see water energy. Say you were supposed to say dark energy again. Why aren't you? Broccoli, Simapore, Ambipom, Cape, Gimme Ghoul. Blitbug, no more Glycopod. There's too many bugs in this set. You know me, I'm not a fan other than Scyther. Scyther is really cool, actually. What do we got here? Dark energy. I listened. I listened. Porygon, Octillery, Golbat, Larry. You have to say Larry with like no emotion. Techno Radar, cool future card. Wiglet, Galvantula, and another Ponkia. So let's see what we can do. In the final four, and then before we get to those, Dark Energy again! I bet you didn't think I would say it. Now I'm not getting them right. Snorlax Doll, Tank, Golbat, Zekrom. So many awesome legendary Pokemon that are in this set. It is beautiful. Let's see, Leaf Energy, if we can get another legendary pool, like the Flamingo. Countercatcher, Jirachi, and it's gold has been pulled! An Iron Valiant EX future card! Well, we have pulled one of the golden cards. I actually didn't even know this was the car golden card in the set. That is beautiful. That is absolutely beautiful. A golden card in the third to final. Man, we have had some incredible pulls today. My goodness. Fire energy because we are on fire. Literally with these pulls. Can we even get anything else? Iron bundle. Can we get a another Natu? How do you do? Well, let's see. Don't forget, let me know what's your favorite pack art from Paradox Rift for a chance. Dark energy. At two, Paradox Rift sealed booster boxes. Ancient booster energy. Masquerade, more Peko. Age Slashes, the final card. So, let's get into some build and battle. Uh, get, get, if I can open it, I swear I work out and this is not a problem. Here we go. Let's check out and see if we can get all of the pre-release promos and open up packs until we do. 
Oh, it's appropriate that Zatu gets one. Very nice. And then we get Ola. Let's go with Roaring Moon. Personally, not the biggest fan. This feels like a thick pack. Can anybody out there please make sure that there's actually the appropriate amount of cards? It just feels like there's a lot. Maybe that means there's just something good. Slitherwing, Octillery, a hey, Mewtwo. He like, that's like the front cover of like the next album coming out with that hat on. Beautiful, Mewtwo EX. I always feel, there we go, from a display build and battle booster box case of pre-release boxes, Dark Energy that there's like always one box that is like the box in the entire thing. Then the rest don't have the best pulls. But so far we got something and I will not complain at all. Let's go with this one hiding. I saw you hiding behind us and let's see if we can open this up in a bit faster time and see what pre-release promo card is in there. Oh, a Chi Yu. Bless you is the next card. So hopefully you got a good look at that. You get these cool build and battle boxes at pre-releases that you go to and then get Brick of Energy and then you can make your deck. So Fighting Energy, it's always a fun time, uh, especially if you want to learn to play the game. So definitely go check out your local store, Masquerade, Ice Cream, a Wu Chen, Wu Chen, if I'm saying that one correctly. Holographic card, so that's the first time pulling that one, so. And then we can go into this one a, a bit faster. Oh, a Frostlass EX Full Art. Beautiful, beautiful card. That box actually went by fairly, fairly fast. If I can actually, no, I'm gonna go like this. Don't do this, don't do that at home. I feel, I feel like we've had a hit though, at least one hit in every single fighting energy, in every single build and battle box that we've opened up so far. So can it continue? Gliscor, uh, Garg, and that was it. So is this gonna be the first dud box out of all the boxes? Let's go with uh, Metal Energy. I barely have said that one. Galvantula, Broccoli, Crobat, Roar Arc, Wimpod, Cloth, and it saves the day. Let's open up the next build in battle box. The previous one, we did get one hit, but we still need, as we get an iron bundle. Very nice, it has the little logo on the side right there, so very cool to see. Let us put these right here and see if we can get some more good pulls from this. Just wanna get uh, fighting energy. Maybe like another one great pull. Let's see. As we have done it! A luxurious cape. Looks like the cape from like Full Metal Alchemist or something. Gold has been pulled just on, just in time. As we were wanting to get another thing. We got a Slasher EX. So that is two great pulls in a row. I'll go with Psychic Energy for this specific one. We have Iron Moth and a Leaf Energy. And then go with Fire Energy for this one. We have Iron Bundle and a Guard Chomp EX. All right, everyone, that's it for now. You want more? Click on the video right now. Stay awesome, stay positive, and I'll see you in the next video.